Hey guys, I just got out the shower and I feel so refreshed. I feel so good. I mean, it feels so good to do our shower routines that we post on social media in real life. I mean, it feels really, really good. Because honestly, it's not every day that I get to shower like that, you know. So I just realized something. The moment that I stopped putting pressure on myself was the moment that I started seeing progress in my life. And I honestly feel like I should share this with you guys. Kind of like a life update kind of thing. You know, for the longest time, I've been so desperate for my life to actually come together. And it hasn't been happening because I have been really, really desperate. But honestly, life is not bad. In fact, life is good. It's okay. Oh, depression is bad now. Don't you feel like Baba is the fool for taking your nest away? In fact, when you tell me that you keep your camera, I'm not telling you. Can you get it? Get it? I'm not trying to self-diagnose myself, but yeah, man, born in Jogoti, life is okay, but I'm not okay. I'm overwhelmed. I'm anxious. I'm just fool for taking. No, I'm not okay. So yeah. But yeah, as I was saying, life got better for me after I stopped being desperate for it to get better. And I am honestly really, really grateful for everything that is happening in my life right now. And today I can honestly say that I'm doing what I love for a living. I actually make money out of telling stories. I make money out of doing hair reviews, which is something that I've always loved. But you know, um, didn't think would be profitable or something that you could actually make money off. You know, so... I don't know who needs to hear this, but we honestly need to trust God's plans for our lives. So I just felt that I needed to put this out there and actually say, Uguti, I'm grateful. Uh, and then when it comes to social life, I don't really have a social life. And I have been thinking about it a lot. And I feel like, I feel like it's okay. You know, it's okay. So the right people will come into my life at the right time. And... I am open to platonic relationships. I'm open to having friends. So all in all, I'm open to friendships. But at this very big age, I feel like friendships should be based on something that is solid. And on to my love life. Yo, oh, my love life. I am single again. I decided that I want to be single again, I think a month ago. But before that, I was in a relationship and it was, it was okay. I did feel like I was settling, but I was settling for something good. And I decided that, okay, I'm going to do it because at this point in my life, I just wanted a relationship. So I settled for the first good thing that came. So we started by dating and then it went on to something a bit more serious but after a while it just stopped so i always hear people talking about honeymoon phases conduct to the honeymoon phase so they say that they normally last for three months where you guys are like in love sparks you guys are going out on dates you are going on vacations it's all nice and amazing and then after that it stops so yes i do believe that the beginning of the relationship should be all fun and you know getting to know each other 
and then you know committing to each other it, it's it's exciting obviously but i do not believe that those things should end <laughs> i honestly do not believe in things ending simply because we are now committed to each other it can happen that okay you're no longer pursuing me um i'm now your girlfriend and you can now let your guard down so when you don't have money for dates you'll be able to tell me who would see i this month i don't think we can go out on a date or you know things like that and i'll be able to understand because you're no longer pursuing me we are now in a relationship meaning we are one okay that's cool i mean no more but when you give me efforts at the beginning it's all good it's all nice you know honeymoon phase and after that things just come to an end you're no longer putting in efforts you're now comfortable so because i'm old enough to understand that you are allowed to lose interest you are allowed to change your mind you know as a person i do it you know sometimes and other people are allowed to do it also and it's okay and one thing that i'm not doing is chasing a man ever that is one thing that I'm not willing to do at this point in my life. I feel like in Gerati, um, like, no, I'm not going to chase after you. I am not now going to put in more effort because you're putting in less. I'm not going to now try to save the relationship. If we're paddling and you stop paddling, then I'm also going to stop and we're going to sink because no no me and I'm, I'm not going to put myself in that position so yeah basically that is what happened so when i finally do settle i'm going to settle for what i want so yeah i'm okay but it's fine this is the hill i'm willing to die on i am not settling no now i'm not gonna settle because i'm approaching my 30s but i'm at 2k so yeah i'm not going to settle because of Yagayami. i'm not going to settle because of eep pressure because i feel like Ontanga, they are getting married abanyu they are having kids kwanja nkwanja ni ezinye nje zizidolezo engazikhathalele okwamanje nje i am recovering from all the losses that i've incurred I lost my brother he he passed on last year July and it was really like really really hard for me it still is but and you know it's getting better I just realized I didn't only lose a brother but I lost a friend also in fact we were really really close yeah we were really really close sometimes in go and if I am given a nice long life that means i am going to spend the rest of my life missing him and yeah it's 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 a bit sad to think about but yeah i do think about it sometimes because on some days i really miss him it's unbearable i'm just you know inventing in nigangi life updates but okay, all in all, we are good. We are surviving. Um, life is good. Life is okay. Billy, okay, I'm going to go and make tea now. And um, this is Frank. Pumay doing anything.